Welcome to our Georgia suburban homestead. We're in Florida where we're driving up on a rental property that we have here where we first started our homestead in 1987 on five acres of land. And I wanted to show you the road with the Spanish moss in the trees leading up to the property. It's quite lovely. Look at the moss and the the moss on the trees and the Spanish moss and the whole vibe of this area of North Florida near the University of Florida is, uh, is so restful and peaceful. So further into town at the university it gets chaotic you know, with all the vibrant youth in that area. Uh, but out here just 15 miles west is uh, tranquility and privacy so we uh, we're keeping this rented out thinking maybe one day we'll move back and uh, had a tenant leave this month so we've got to go check it out see if it's still in good shape and so we'll see so as you see it's a dirt lane and when we bought back here uh, it was called Mockingbird Lane, and we really wanted to get our address changed to 1313 Mockingbird Lane. And those of you who are over the age of, uh, of uh, 50 may remember the significance of 1313 Mockingbird Lane. But it's a good, oh, quarter mile off the highway. And, uh... We totally lived off the land or homesteaded or farmed, whatever you want to call it. Grew our own food. We had chickens, ducks, turkeys, extensive garden, had my horses, had a milk goat or two. Uh, looks like we got to fix the gate. Yeah, it looks like we got to fix a gate. I don't know. Cinnamon trees are definitely bigger. Wow, uh, these are persimmon trees here, and bamboo. We had this modular home. Uh, oh, look, there's the chicken house. And a barn that Charlie and I built with, by hand. Yeah, it needs work, doesn't it? It needs some work. Yeah, we're gonna have to put new tin. You didn't bring a ladder, did you? No. Used to be one here, though. Yeah, well, it tends to walk off. There's a four-acre pasture. It's kind of grown up a little bit. Ginger lilies. Looks like the barn needs some cleaning up. We're gonna have to clean this up before we leave. The last tenant left a shed, that's okay. But there's the front of the house. It's a really spacious house, really. All right. I've always loved this living room. I have always loved this living room. And the pass through to the kitchen. Master bed's back there. Got a dining room. Look at this kitchen, y'all. Island kitchen with an eat-in area. Kind of a strange place to put a satellite dish. Uh, this is a, a laundry with 
a spare refrigerator to uh, store your hide your beer in. I've always loved this kitchen. Hmm. Last time it must have taken the microwave. Large pantry. Doesn't look like they ever cleaned that grate. Master bedroom. Got a large double vanity bathroom with a soaking tub and a water closet and a shower. This entertainment center, Charlie hand built, 96. Gonna have to repair that, but we did this floor together. It's solid tile. The whole house is done in tile. Well, that's a new addition there. Guest bedroom. Looking out on the porch. So, Daddy, do you ever consider coming back here to live? Oh, yeah. So, we're going to um, do this series of videos in segments. Stay tuned for part two of our Georgia Suburban Homestead in Florida at the original Florida Homestead on five acres uh, just outside Gainesville, Florida, where we started our life together while in graduate school and actually lived off the land. It was a blessed place. It's still a blessed place. Come enjoy it with us and see what we had to do to repair items that the last tenant broke. Stay tuned.